Hello everyone! This is a Python web scraping tutorial with Reddit website taken as an example. Also, I'll show you how to avoid IP bans and restrictions with proxies. So here is how our bot should work. We provided a subreddit and the bot downloads all the posts starting from the top of all time. We will store post metadata in a local SQLite database, including image URLs. The bot should support restarting. Before we get further in this video, I wanted to let you know that I have teamed up with IP Royal to bring you a special coupon code for a 30% off of their Royal Residential proxies. Make sure to try them out before the offer expires. There are countless reasons a business would want to perform data scraping. Its most significant advantage is gathering unstructured data from different sources into one place. Efficient and accurate web scraping is not possible without adequate proxies, the ones which won't break in the middle of the process. Picking the right proxy solution for your needs will allow you to gather data even from hard-to-reach sources and help you avoid bans. For this reason, I recommend rotating residential proxies. They provide a constant stream of fresh IPs for all sorts of web crawling projects. IP Royal offers IPs all over the world, so you can focus on the geolocations you're interested in for reliable and unbiased data. Being able to routinely replace your IP address with a new one anywhere in the world makes your data gathering efforts indistinguishable from genuine visitors. With the massive global pool of residential IPs, you can perform web scraping on an unlimited number of sources anywhere in the world. You can quickly integrate our proxies with most management software or use them in your own solutions. If you run into any problems, IP Royal support is available 24-7 to help you start scraping as soon as possible. I have teamed up with IP Royal to bring you a special coupon code. Use the code VERBOX at checkout to get a 30% discount on their Royal Residential proxies. Make sure to use the coupon code now as the deal will not last for long. First thing you should do before coding a web scraping project is to check if the website has an API, because scraping an API is way easier than raw HTML, especially with the modern websites, which are mostly single-page applications with framework-generated HTML. Sometimes such websites have a hidden internal API, so you may want to search for that too. Let's check, does Reddit have a public API? Yes, moreover, Reddit has a Python API wrapper as a module, but we won't use that. Instead, let's learn how to use the API. It has some limits bound to the IP address, but it is not a problem for us, as we will use auto-rotating proxies. I assume you already have Python installed, so create the virtual environment. Install the requests module. Open your editor and start coding. Import requests module for HTTP requests. Then declare the subreddit variable. Declare API endpoint URL. As you saw, the Reddit JSON API endpoint looks like the normal URL, but with .json appended. We use T parameter to see the top of all time. Now let's declare HTTP requests headers. Here we have only user agent header to identify our bot. Now let's make the request. If the request is successful, we will parse it. Else print the error code. Let's use pretty print module to print data nicely. And now let's run the program. Here is the output. We see that it contains the data and the ID of the next post. The posts are stored in the children array and its key parameters in the data section, like author, title, URL, and so on. Now let's parse that data. Let's make a variable for the main data element and iterate over its children. Every element of the children array contains its own data. Let's extract properties one by one. 
We need post identifier so we can construct link later if we need. Also we need title and author. Also we need to know when it was posted. And the last element we want to get is the URL. It is present not in all posts, so we use the get function here. Now let's print the data. This code will look repetitive, but it is a temporary solution. The URL of the post may be a link to the image. Now run the program. It works! Let's also extract score. We will make it scrape the subreddit till the end, so let's remove the unnecessary print. Now let's wrap the program into a while loop. To achieve that, let's make some adjustments to the code. To be specific, we turn the URL string into a template, so we can append the dynamic after parameter to scrape all the pages. We use string format method to use the template. It substitutes the curly braces with the arguments. Don't forget to exit the loop in case of error. Now let's set the after parameter to scrape the next page. And print the basic post data. Let's save and run the program. As you see, it works and scrapes multiple pages until we interrupt the program. So far the program works perfectly, but looks a little messy. Let's fix it by wrapping the program into a parse function. We will make the function parse one page and return the after parameter, and take that parameter as an optional argument. So let's make the loop return the value. In case of error, return none. Now let's write the main function with the program loop inside. Let's declare the subreddit here. In a while loop we parse the subreddit page by page. If after is not defined, it is the end. Let's remove the already defined variable and move other variables into the function. If the file isn't imported as a module, run the main function. It is the standard Python idiom. Handle keyboard interrupts as well. Finally, let's check if the code works just as good as it used to. Yes. Now let's make it save the posts into a local SQLite database. I just realized that we can remove this while loop. Import SQLite module. It is a part of Python standard library, so there is no need to install anything. Now let's write the function which creates the table in the database if it not exists already. We will have the ID from Reddit as a primary key. Let's store title as a text, score as an integer, the author as a text, the date as a real number which can be floating point, and the URL as a text. Don't forget to commit the changes in the database. Now let's write the database connection code in the main function. We will store everything in the Reddit posts DB file, create the table if it doesn't exist, to close the database connection regardless of keyboard interrupt, move the exception handling code to the main function and close the connection in the final block. Pass the connection to the function, make the function accept the connection argument, declare the database cursor, insert the parsed values into the database. We use insert or ignore to ignore the duplicates. We pass the parsed data in a tuple. Don't forget to commit the changes. Now let's save and run the program. Seems like it works. Now let's see what is saved in the database. I use SQLite browser to see the content of the database, but you can also use SQLite command line interface if you want. As you see, everything is saved. Now, if you restart the bot, it will start scraping from the beginning. Let's fix that. We will create a single row table called state. The only column of the table is the after identifier. 
Let's rename the function to the create tables, because now we create multiple tables. To retrieve the after parameter value from the previous run of the bot, we'll use get last after function, and to set the value, we'll use set last after function. Now let's implement those functions. We create the cursor and run a simple SQL query. Check if the last value is saved, if yes, return the value. In the setLastAfter function, we delete the previous elements in the table and insert a new one. And don't forget to commit the changes in the database. Now let's test the program. Remove the old database, then run, interrupt and then restart the program. As you see, it continues from the point where it stopped. Perfect! But if you are serious about extracting data from the Internet, you will face some rate limits, especially with APIs. To get around this, let's use APROIL residential proxies. Once you bought the proxies with the Verbox 30% discount, copy the proxy address into the code and include the proxy in the request. Now I will let it run for some time to see if there are any issues. Later. Ok, it has been running for a while now and it works perfectly fine. With all the data you can do almost anything you want. Make a Reddit archive, analyze it, build machine learning models and more. The possibilities are endless when you have access to the data. Thanks for watching and don't let IP bands stand in your way.